Hello and welcome to the Home and Lad video tutorials for visualbasic.net. I'm Kenny Carney and it is lesson we're going to do some more on variables. We're going to cover basic math operators and operator precedents. So if you create a new project for yourself, I've done a form with a button, click me, double click your button, you get the code stub. I've also increased the size of the font here. If you want to increase your own font size, click on Tools, go to Options, Environment, Fonts and Colors, and you can select the size, you can click the new font, it's a console less. New font if you want to, we'll leave on that one. So mine's on 11. Right, so basic math operators, something called operator precedence. First that when you're setting up a variable, you can declare the variable and assign on the same line like this. Previously we were doing um, some, some number, some number as we do a short. We were doing this and then some number equals say 10. All right, so we set up the variable here and we've assigned a value here. You can do it all, all on the same line if you wanted to. So I just need an equal sign and then 10. Save you uh, some typing, I guess. We won't do it like that. And so previously we assigned a single number like this. So after the equal sign. We're just assigning the number 10 to some variable, to some number. But if you wanted to, you could also add a second number, a symbol, a D or a third number, if you wanted to, or a fourth number. And you can continue like that at any size. Get rid of that one. And so the basic math operators, you do 4 plus 2. I can change that to a minus. Subtraction. Division is the uh, a forward slash. Here, yeah, that's a forward slash. Multiplication is the asterisk symbol. Asterisk, just above the 8 on your keyboard. So those are the basic math operators here. The operator precedence is something you do need to take care of. Let me, uh, if I did this 1 plus 2 times 3, normally you would think it would um, calculate from left to right 1 plus 2 is 3, multiplied by 3 you would think it was 9. Let me have a message box, message box dot show, that's round brackets, and say some number. Number. See what it does. So, is it going to go from left to right? One plus two is three. Multiply by three is nine. Let me have a look. Start without debugging. Click me. No, it's got seven. The reason it did seven instead of nine is because of this operator precedence. And for that, what it means is it will do the division or the multiplication first. And then the addition and the subtraction. So we'll do this because of operating precedence. 2 plus 3 is 6. Then it'll do 1 plus 7. If you wanted to do the addition first, then you need some round brackets. Now you're doing. And now it'll calculate everything inside of the round brackets first. So it'll do that first. 2 plus 1 is 3 multiplied by 3. Hopefully this time it will give us 9. Yes, it has given us 9. All right, so that is operator precedence. Something else you can do as well is to mix text and numbers. Let me set up a, a string variable. Some text as string. String. Oh, string. You can also add an equal sign here for strings as well, so you could do this uh, if you liked. So you're assigning text to the variable there. 
all on the same line. You can do that if you want. You want to do it. What if we had a number? Some number equals right, not five. And some text. Some text. Equals text here. Right, so you can join those two together, but you've got to be careful. In the message box, I've got some number. What if I wanted to join the text as well? What if I did a plus symbol and some text? Some text. Let's see what happens there. Debug. Right, there. Debugging. Click me. Immediately we've got an error. Unhandled exception has occurred in your application. Why is this conversion from string text here to double is not valid? What's gone wrong? Well, the, the reason is because we are uh, adding there, so we've got a plus symbol. Let's see what happens if we put a concatenation symbol. Do we still get that error? Do it again. Oh, five text here. So that's okay. We can put a concatenation symbol. What you can do as well, if you wanted to use the plus symbol, you can add a dot after some number, convert it to a string, and like this one, to string. Some round brackets. See whether this is okay. There's five text here. So you can combine, combine your text and your numbers, but you just have to be careful which symbol you use. Let me put it back to the, that one. You can also we'll set up another variable if you wanted to. To hold them, damn, damn, more text. And string. So you can have this down here. More text. I need to equals and his assignment. Mm, some text firstly. Some text. And then if I had a plus symbol, some number. Let me go back up here. And for this one, more text, we can just put this one inside of the show. So now I'm converting in some text plus some number. However, I'm using the plus symbol again. Is that going to make a difference? Debug. I want it to crash. Will it give me an error message? There's the error message again. The same conversion from string. Let me quit that one. Again, some number. Add to string. At the end, that converts it to a string. And all should be well. Let me text here five. So to sum up, you can have your variable declarations and your assignments on the same line. Some numbers so you could do it on that one. Same with strings as well. You can do with uh, calls text if you want to do. The basic math operators, the plus symbol, the dash for subtraction, the forward slash for division, and the asterisk for multiplication. And you need to be aware of operator precedence. So for VB, it will do these two first. Then it will do addition and subtraction. I will see you in the next video.